Hey guys! Um, it's Matilda. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I look like a hot mess. We just got out of the gym, so I am scary looking, but it's whatever. And uh, get my protein, I'm trying to finish it up. Ugh. Trying, trying, trying. So, I promised I would come out with this video. So, we will be talking about my body dysmorphia. Uh, I'm not going to get emotional on this video because I don't feel emotional right now. So, I'm going to be blunt and get with it. So, body dysmorphia. Uh, it is where an individual uh, finds something, there's an issue on their body that only they can see because sometimes it's not there. Uh, it's a mental illness where you see something and you just kind of, you know, obsess over it and you over-exercise your body or you try different ways to hide it or to change it or do stuff like that. My case isn't very extreme because all I'm really obsessing over is my... Ooh, almost stopped it, is uh, my, my stomach area and my legs on the side. Uh, I had really huge saddlebags and it was, it was really bad. It, I mean, they kind of came out like maybe to like right here and um, luckily they've gone down, but I've got a good amount of loose skin. It's not even the, um, like the cellulite on the sides of my legs. Yeah, that's kind of an issue, but it's not too bad of an issue for me. It's, it's the looseness. You know, I wear compression pants when I go and work out, when I do stuff like that, because it holds everything in and I don't feel my legs moving and jumbling around. And that's, you know, I probably shouldn't wear them because that's exerting more energy and probably burning more calories, you know, when I'm not, when I'm wearing shorts. But it just compresses everything in and just keeps it from moving around so much. Um, so it's making it a little difficult and it's hard to ignore for me because I feel it every time I run. You know, if, okay, so in the mornings I weigh myself, right? I weigh myself every single morning, and I want to say about 95% of the time I weigh myself at night, too. Do not do this. I am <laughs> OCD about everything, and um, if you were strong enough to do it, do it. I use it as an accountability for me. This is where you're at, Matilda. You know, if you wouldn't have had that sweet bar, we would have been lower today. Or, But I know my body already, so I know when I'm bloating. I know what's caused it. I know what I did to my body and why I've gained an ounce, why I've gained a pound, why I've lost two pounds. So, uh, anyways, if you're strong enough to do that, do it. It's a great uh, method for me to, you know, hold myself accountable because nobody else is going to hold you accountable but you. Um, anyway, so I get up in the mornings and, of course, I can't do a naked strip to the uh, to the scale because it's in my kitchen go figure in my kitchen <laughs> because it's the only surface in our house that is flat and doesn't have carpet so I have to make my way from my room all the way to the kitchen and I can't do a naked strut like that because I got kids and uh, I babysit in the morning I don't want to scare my sister-in-law <laughs> And so, uh, or my children for that matter. But anyways, um, so I wear like maybe just this t-shirt with uh, my chones and just, you know, run over to the scale. It is so hard for me to not just get down on myself because when I shuffle over as quick as I can over to the dang, you know, scale, my legs are just jiggling and I feel like it's throwing me off balance and I'm probably exaggerating guys 
I swear it feels like an earthquake to me though. And uh, I'm just kind of like, dude. And I feel like when I look down, I see it. It's just moving, just going. And I'm just like, oh, even when I stop, it just keeps going. My legs are my biggest area that I am obsessing over and I'm trying and I'm crying and I'm upset and it is so hard for me to get past that area <sighs> but it's pushing me I am trying to build up my muscle and you know it's not gonna be an overnight process I know this because by golly if it was I'd already be at where I want to be <laughs> um, I'm working really hard on, you know, not toning up completely, but like building. I'm trying to build, but uh, I've got a lot of, you know, fat that I'm burning in between my skin and my muscle. There's a layer of fat, fat right? I'm burning through that fat like there's no tomorrow, but my muscles are not growing as fast. But that's also because I started out with a lot of cardio. And uh, I just recently started lifting super heavy. And that's fine. Uh, you have to start where you need to start to get you to where you're going to keep going, right? I always say this, guys. Always. So that's just how I started. And now I've just got to catch up. I've got to fill that space. And... I'm doing it slowly but surely getting there and uh, I shall get there uh, another area that I'm obsessing over right now is my tummy because at 380 pounds if you compared me to myself then yes in pictures I see it I'm like dang okay yeah did lose a lot of weight I don't know if it's because I can't remember how I looked back then or if it's I remember how I feel or how I felt back then I felt ashamed I felt humongous I felt you know just disgusting <sighs> when I look in the mirror and I take my profile pics for my weight loss it sucks it hurts sometimes and it's really hard it's really really hard sometimes because I feel like I'm still that 380 pound woman I still feel as big as I was you know I don't feel like I've lost anything yeah in my face yeah I'm like oh yeah selfie time yeah I can do this all day but when it comes to my stomach and my legs, it's just like, oh, why? <laughs> you know, why even try to look cute when you know you're not cute under your clothes? You know, just, I've got, I've got some things to work out. I've got some things to figure out. Uh, I am a very positive person, so I think that's why I'm able to just keep pushing through. You know, why sit here and wallow in it you know I I try my hardest not to but I do I do wallow sometimes especially at night when I'm laying down and I feel my skin on my back touch each other on both sides when I lay down it's really hard for me and those are the times where I do break down and I cry because it's it's like I'm doing all this work and I'm getting this loose skin and it's like yay you know you're losing this weight you're gonna be healthy you know and then the negative part which isn't that big of a deal but it hurts sometimes is just you want as a female you want to feel sexy you want to feel attractive and at 380 pounds I still felt sexy and attractive you know I never noticed how big I was and it's hard to feel like that when you feel your skin touching each other. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, it's not supposed to do that. And uh, 
it's just a feeling I've never felt before. Just like when I lay on my tummy, I can feel my ribs now in the bed. So it's like, I can't lay on my side. Can't lay on my stomach because now that's weird. And, you know, what am I going to do? Lay on my back? That's not comfortable. <laughs> so, you know, I've got my issues, guys. This isn't something that is completely easy to me and I'm just able to do this. It, it's not. You know, we all have our problem areas. We all have, you know, our goods and our bads. You know, these are just some of my bads. And I want to connect with y'all on that level and let you know that you're not the only one who feels yucky sometimes, you know? Like, I'm a female. I understand this, you know, females. And men, too. You know, I'm sure y'all sit there and you're upset with how your pecs are looking or, you know, how guys say, oh, I've got man boobs now. You know, we all have these issues where... You know, we judge ourselves harder than other people. Because in my head, I'm like, I can't wear these shorts. I can't wear this because they're gonna see they're gonna see this bottom bottom long ha, huh? you know? They're gonna see this bottom roll and, and everybody's just gonna be like, Oh, she lost hundred and thirty five pounds, but oh my god, does she know she's still fat? You know, that you that's what you expect to hear. You know, and that that's what's in your head. That's what's embedded in my head. But, most of the time, I say, book it, and I put it on anyways. <laughs> uh, or my sister talks me out of it, and she's like, hello, does everybody else matter? And I'm like, right, you're right. <laughs> so, you know, my God, Matilda, get it out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, so... You know, the good good things are going to come your way with losing weight and bad things are going to come your way also. Be positive and just try to push forward. You know, just like I'm doing, I'm just pushing forward, doing what I can, uh, seeing what works. You know, uh, I've been doing massive live workouts to kind of build up muscle. You can't target fat, and I know this, you know, I've been doing this for a year and a few months now, so if I could target fat, I'd have a skinny ass waist. <laughs> uh, you can't target fat, but you can grow muscle. So when you lose the fat, when it decides to finally come off in that area, your definition and your muscle uh, growth that you've been, you know, pushing and working on is going to show through. Uh, so that, that's basically what I'm focusing on right now is just, you know, doing that. Uh, just growing my muscle as much as I can so when the stubborn fat decides, okay, Matilda, we'll let you, you know, let go of this area. So uh, I should probably have like a fucking eight pack if I ever get that skinny. Because <laughs> I tell you, we hit abs today and I'm just dying, dying. And, uh, yeah, just keep moving forward, guys. Keep going. I just wanted to share this story with y'all and let you know that we're all human. We all have flaws. I'm not perfect. I'm not any bit different than you are. I just am motivated. You just got to get motivated. Every single one of you can do this. You can lose massive amounts of weight can do it healthy or you can do it badly you know it's up to you it's all up to you and your motivation what is your motive is it a good reason is it you know something that's gonna make you happy you know it it's just got to come from you so I'm gonna work through my issues you work through your issues if you need encouragement or just to talk give me a message comment subscribe like you know you know what to do <laughs> so i'll see y'all later um i'm probably gonna try to edit in some pictures of when i was bigger and some pictures of now so y'all can see the difference that i don't see <laughs>
Uh, thanks for staying tuned, guys, and, you know, thanks for, you know, my followers who watch all my videos and, you know, keep supporting me, and I'll support you back, and uh, love y'all. Catch you later. Bye.